Hello, I'm Miles, and this is Little Wars TV's Report on Salute. Attending Salute has always been on my to-do list, and I was very excited when the opportunity arose given the confluence of a business trip and the scheduling of the convention itself. The event is organized by a local wargaming club, the South London Warlords, and is billed as the largest one-day wargaming event in the UK. Just how big is Salute? Let's look at these two pictures of the queue to get into the show. The first one was taken about 30 minutes prior to open when I first arrived, and the second about 20 minutes later. There's a little bit of difference in the crowd sizes there. The show itself was housed into a single giant hall within the Excel Center, uh, one that was large enough to hold almost 170 separate trader booths and a little over 100 types of games, both participation and demonstration. Truly, it's a massive show. The real highlight of the show for me were the games, including this one from Simon Miller uh, pitting Romans against Ancient Britons using his To the Strongest rule set. This was a beautiful game with wonderful 28mm scale miniatures, and in talking to Simon, the Brits managed to eke out wins both times a game was run during the convention. Demonstration games are actually quite uncommon here in the United States, and there's some stereotypes about them, that they're standoffish that they consist of just a bunch of old guys standing around a table with their backs to the audience. Like you see now. That's actually not what I experienced at Salute, especially the gentlemen here. Uh, I found these games to be very inviting, very easy to drop in and play a turn or two, learn some of the rules, talk to the players, and in a convention that lasts only a day, that's a very effective use of time. Another table with just amazing scenery was this game from Gringo's 40. Uh, featuring uh, pirates and colonial French. It was just an amazing table, and, and I stood there slack-jawed, probably uh, for a little longer than I should. There was a fantastic-looking chain of command game set in the Pacific run by Richard Clark himself. It's quite animated. Fellow blogger Dalooper, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, uh, ran a wonderful looking Napoleonic game set in the Swedish theater, uh, featuring a French invasion of a Swedish held island. Uh, and you can see the British fleet just sailing off, leaving their poor Swedish allies to fend for themselves. Unfortunately for the Swedes, this game had a historical outcome with a resounding French victory. Salute is an event that caters to all types of tabletop games, both historical and non-historical. I think that's one of the reasons why the crowds seem much younger than I've experienced in U.S. conventions. And I saw a lot of younger people trying historical games out for the first time, which I found very encouraging. Still, as a historical gamer, it was great to see stalwarts like Osprey at the, uh, at the convention, selling their wares and looking for uniform guides. Oh, wait, it's all fantasy. Oh, nothing wrong with that. It's still all fun. Perhaps my favorite game of the day was the Battle of Lee, put on by the Lawton Strike Force, uh, using the rules General Darmé, and we actually had the rules author, David Brown, uh, participating in the game. I also made my pilgrimage to the uh, booth of the Perry Twins, where I made my appropriate tithe in return of plastic, uh, and also received this very special message from them to our littlest warrior. Good luck, Zach. Right. Good luck Perfect. with the AWI. So in closing, what were my final thoughts about Salute? I loved it. I know there's been a little chatter on the War Games forum that it wasn't the best of Salutes, my guess is there's always negative chatter on the war game forums about something not being the best of whatever it is. Uh, for me though, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really enjoyed a different way of looking at uh, war games and uh, look forward to going next year.